So it is not Monday. Or even Wednesday. But no, I'm streaming Tuesday. I'm at least continuing with more Onimusha too. Because... Okay, there's a lot to fucking unpack with this. Like, I doubt, like, most people probably paid attention to, like, the comments I might have made about it elsewhere on the internet when, like... Like, when it was in the interim between when, uh, when I last played this game and now. Where I initially had the idea of, hold on. Maybe I could replay the first three and a half hours I just went through on stream. Which was technically four hours because of, like, a... Because of a save reset I had to do. And, like, just do it more optimally with the idea of, hey, maybe I could get it so that I can show all of the side quests that each of your supporting characters get. Which is what these four save files were all for. I even did it on hard mode because after going through, like, this first three or so hours on normal, I was like, maybe, maybe a boosted difficulty is in order to keep me engaged. But not only do I think I'd still rather finish this stream playthrough on normal, despite the clearly increased magic and power gauge, uh, things did not go as I was hoping they did. And not only did certain, like, event cutscenes not trigger as I was led to believe it would, like, the first, like, side quest that we were supposed to get where you play as Kotaro, who, as you might remember, we did... We gave him all of the best gifts that we had for Max Affinity. That did not trigger on this file. Onimusha 2 is a very complex game with where, like, its biggest draw is simultaneously, like, its biggest headache. So we're just going to continue with what I originally planned, which I was hoping initially I would start this on Monday, but... Thought I would give myself extra time until Wednesday to resume from this, assuming it went as planned. It did not. I was going to do this Monday, like yesterday, but I just wasn't feeling it when I uh, when I got home from work. So, yeah, we're doing it today. That's the story. You're up to date on the brief headache I put myself through Sunday afternoon, just blitzing through this game again. Like, throughout all first three visits of Ima Showtown just to see, like, if I could get better results from the gift-giving. And to be fair, I did end up with more, like, power jewels and magic jewels. I even got, like, the extra armor pieces for the side character so you can only get if you trade specific items to other characters. But it is what it is. Like... I'm pretty sure once we get through, like, Kotaro's quest, which is going to be in this, like, within the next hour, we're pretty much going to get to, like, we're, we're going to be in a very good spot as is. You must have missed me. You know, I kind of did. I really wish that it would just... Oh, fuck. There we go. Well, at least... Hold on. Actually, wait. No, no, don't. Oh, fine, fine. I was trying to see if I could get an Isan chain started off of that small demon, but it... It, it, it was not meant to be. That's two things that it is definitely reminding me is kind of annoying with Onimusha 2. A, not really having any way to manually control your partner's AI and B because your you? because your whole like your charge attack is based entirely on holding R1 like so you get the max pressure applied to it that uh, you know doing this that simultaneously means you're having to lock on to whatever the game is going to deem like your current priority target which is, again, like, I don't like that as much, even though it's, like, the same in Genma Onimusha, like, the, the core application of charge attacks. 
at least in Genma on the Xbox, all you had to do was just hold the attack button and you would, like, do it anyway. Which makes more sense. Because in either situation, you're not able to do a regular combo while holding a charge. Like, that's not how it works. It, it's real... It's weird, even though I think this is still a pretty good game, and I'm greatly enjoying my time with it. I mean, look at how powerful I am now, what with all, like, I've done to, like, upgrade myself. Like, like, all, like, these two are at level two. I have the arm armor to level max, which means as soon as I start, like, applying pressure to R1 when I hold it, I basically get the first charge instantly. Like, that's great. <laughs> And it doesn't even take that long afterwards for, like, levels 2 and 3 to follow. Still gonna be quite fascinating just once I get to Onimusha 3 after this. And after thinking about it some, I, I think I am gonna give... Oh, damn. Rip our demon mother. Gosh, she's so terrible. <laughs> Hold on. Ah. My dearest son. Uh huh. I wanted much more time to talk with you, Joe. I mean, I kind of agree. We barely even know you. <laughs> oh, well. I'm sure this... emotionally heavy scene would probably hit a lot harder if we had access to the Jim? Japanese dub, if anything. What happened? The first time we met, she revealed that she was my mother. Yeah. And told me about my father. One day, I met your father and fell in love with him at first sight. <laughs> yeah. All right, good on Jubei's dad. Straight up got to be a monster fucker. <laughs> And also, like, this whole thing, based on what Jubei is relaying to OU, is that apparently he got told this, like, during the brief moment in time that they first meet at the start of the game, and he gets, like, the charity orb. Like, I guess it just got instantly transmitted into his mind or whatever, or something in that, like, brief flash it, of light. It was destiny. Oh, well. Incredibly overdramatic bit of romanticism throughout this whole adventure, but I mean, I'll take it. It's at least like a. It's at least. This woman. Compared to Onimusha 3. It is the Yagyu clan's mission to stop the demons when they rise up to the surface. For this, the chief of the Yagyu clan had an affair with a woman from the Oni clan, and they had a baby. Of Oni origin. Yep. A long time ago, the Oni on Earth and the demons of the underground fought a great war. But in the end, this this is also something important I need to mention. After we Oni went through the first scattered. Oni Musha, and they referred to like this clan as the Ogres, which gave their power to Samanosuke in the form I of a gauntlet. This was so the game where they, appeared, where like the localizers finally realized their mistake and were stated, like, wait, these I are literally the Oni. The this Oni game is called Oni Musha. I can't just accept it immediately. Like, <laughs> like they finally realized it made no freaking sense to call them ogres. <laughs> but it still took them a while to get back to the idea that like the demons that we're fighting are literally called the Genma. They, they just stick to calling them demons as, like, a general term, even though it makes 
no sense. It makes about as much sense as like. But if it's true, referring to the enemies in Shin Megami Tensei as demons. Well, I, well, okay, no, that's slightly different. They are all demons. Warrior, just there's different factions. I will destroy the demons. <laughs> oh God! If this was in the Japanese language, that would have been the literal title drop. He is the Oni Warrior, the Oni Musha. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, this this game. It's so corny and dramatic, but I love it because it does not veer into jump the shark territory the way Onimusha 3 does. Which is its own kind of entertaining. Kind of can't emphasize that enough, even though we are clearly not playing Onimusha 3. But trust me, once we get to that game, you will see. You will be witness to a great becoming. <laughs> In which KG Inafune got obsessed with why the hell did freaking, like, Europe not buy Onimusha 2 in droves and decided to turn, like, half of, like, the starring cast into Europeans in order to make it sell better. Anyway, here are more annoying, annoying things that we are not going to bother doing Isen on because... At some point, as much as it is the driving mechanic behind the, uh, the Onimusha series, it really will drive you crazy if you are just trying to play this game entirely with the idea that every enemy can has to be damaged with criticals only. Like, that's just not... That's not fun after a while. Oh, hey, Kotaro. We could give more gifts, but I think we already gave all, all that we could. But more importantly, um, if we had a if we were actually friends with Magoichi, he'd be here and give us uh, a special bomb that we would then have to take over to this uh, to this uh, wall of rocks, blow it open, and then we would get another necklace from it called the Green Necklace. What it does is that it reveals like invisible treasure boxes throughout the rest of the game. Like the, and and that's like a big reason why I wanted to try my hand at uh, at uh, uh, like doing the game all over again. Oh fucking! Just let me get the. There we go. Yeah, just deal with this first before taking care of the archers. Having to do this tedious switching back and forth in the menus between, like, long-range weapons and, uh... And, like, your sword. Which, uh, which, like, to my pleasure, like, I... I briefly looked up, again, like, uh, like a long play of Onimusha 3. Just to remind myself of, like, what I have to look forward to once I'm done with this game. And was reminded, oh yeah, they did figure out for the third game the idea that, yes, you should be able to have, like, your projectile weapon, like, your bow and arrow and whatnot, equipped, uh, like, simultaneously. Hold on. Come on. I'm trying to remember. Give... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There's four. Oh! Ah. It sucks, too, because it's like... Some of the startup animations... Looks like it's gonna lead into an Isen. Okay. Yeah, see? Like that. It almost should've... Like that, too. Like it, it, like, it is more practical to an extent to, like, activate an E-Send if you're running. As cool as it is to just stand there and be able to just, like, end it right, uh, right at that moment. It's more practical to run because, like, the, like, the, 
like the circuit, uh, like the whole radius from which you can like activate it, as long as they are in their frames where the ESEN window can like work, like that, like you can just punish them super easily. Okay, that. God damn. Mm. Again, it's like. All right, there we go. I'm getting back in. Uh, I'm getting back into the swing of things. It's happening. Picking up a whole bunch of like. Ah. Now nah, I got. I gotta just absorb those before they disappear. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of cool. But sometimes that works. You just kind of got to get uh, get the sort of Isen attacks in whichever way you find most comfortable at the moment. Sometimes you get, like, tunnel vision, like the equivalent of that, if you try and stick to doing it only a, a certain way. Sometimes it's better to block Isen. Sometimes it's just better to do it straight from neutral. Other times you should just run past them and then, like, time the button press when you think it's safe. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. We're actually getting this cutscene. What's wrong? It didn't you? happen on my other playthrough. It didn't even you happen on like this file when I tested ahead, the like plan. the the next hour or so to make sure that certain Do events you really trigger. Believe that? Like, like this game is so. I was raised uh, without knowing who my mother was. Just like the opaqueness of this her, game is I just, can take comfort in the knowledge it sometimes that I drives me insane trying to figure out how you break down a perfect run. But what if they weren't related by blood? <laughs> what if you were adopted? Would you still truly feel like mother and child? What? <laughs> or you? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Hmm. Oh, also nice at least we got that scene. We're still going to be getting literally every other scene involving Kotaro because he's the one that we gave the most gifts to. But Oyu's still going to be like a major force like in the plot no matter what. So that's that's kind of how it is. Alright. But now, I think it's time that we... head on to the next area proper. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, here's a little puzzle that... normally you would have to, like... if you got to this point, you'd probably need to remind yourself of, like, the... The four guardians painting that you picked up the two halves of, but I obviously have the solution on hand right now, so I'm just gonna do it this way. Yeah, I didn't even need to look at the at the picture again. Still boggles my mind that like when I was doing a test run on this file, like this past weekend, it didn't play that cutscene with OU. But it did here. For some reason. Unless I'm misremembering just because of also doing that hard mode playthrough where I tried to maximize gift giving for all characters. But it still made the game treat it like, oh, I only... Only Eke is my best friend. Now, for whatever reason. Anyway, time to avoid this trap. How are we going to do it? We're just going to hang here and wait. Pull up. And then run our asses out of here. Got it. And now we enter Fog Valley. Let's get some enhancements in. More for the armor. Because I don't... Like, I know we're going to be getting another weapon here in this zone, and I will upgrade it to level 2, but I don't have, uh... 
like... Like, I really prefer to just use the Brito. Like, in pretty much all instances, like, I much prefer its Isen moves. And having that at all times. But I will, like, over time, eventually... Like, this was priority one. The rest of the armor to level max is the next priority. Afterwards, getting all wep all remaining weapons to max level if I have the orbs to do it. Like, that, like that's how I'm going to be handling things. Okay. Oh yeah, I actually just remembered about like the other tangent I was getting on before turning my attention back to like some of the cutscenes as they were playing. But one thing that I was uh, thinking about is that yes, I am obviously playing Onimusha 3 after this, but not only do I want to do that, but I'm also thinking of like revisiting like uh, like playing Shadow of Rome on stream because that is a game that I actually r recall even though I never played the Onimusha games like when they were new but I did play like for a uh, briefly like on a weekend at some friend's house back in elementary like late elementary school like some friends had Shadow of Rome and we just like spent Friday and Saturday nights just playing it and I remember that game like in my mind, like, even though I was not as familiar with it in the long term, I was like, yeah, this is pretty neat. And then here, and then realizing in high, at, like, afterwards that this was somehow, like, oh no, like, this game was made by Capcom. Like, suddenly I'm like, oh shit, I need to play this. Especially, it's like, it's not just Capcom, but it's also the Onimusha team that made it after they finished the third game. And that two things came from it. Like, one, like, Lessons learned from it were what led to them creating Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. And B, uh, because it did not sell the amount that Inofuni wanted it to, me, uh, to be, like, Shadow of Rome was originally going to be, like, a trilogy. They canceled the second game when they saw the sales, and then they decided to take what plans they had for Shadow of Rome 2, and then they turned it into Dead Rising. Like, talk about a weird freaking lineage. Uh, like, for development at Capcom. God, I just love doing that. Takes no magic, so, like, I could just save all of my MP for when I get to a boss fight that I simply just want to delete at the moment. Okay, we got the map. Are there any archers up top? No, they're not. Cool. And we get our third weapon. Which is... Uh, unlike the staff, it is much more in the same vein as the third weapon we got in the first Onimusha. You know, it's a... It's, yeah, it's pretty much like a double, uh, double bladed like glaive or or something like that. Which we're going to hold on to that. We'll move forward into the forest eventually, but you might have recalled like a green seal over like a doorway that we passed by. Let's uh, let's actually take care of that right now. Why did you... There. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I really wish, like... It would probably lead to other problems if it was this case, but, like, I kind of wish that the game did not still have, like, some manner of auto-targeting when you weren't holding R1. Like, I would much much prefer if if you just have like full manual control of all things when you aren't uh nice like i would much prefer the full manual control uh targeting be like when you aren't actually holding r1 button but when you hold r1 you could just be like okay i'll 
then it want and then that's me telling the game I want this to specifically target a certain enemy. Nobunaga's knowledge. Yeah, these are going to be a puzzle item for much later. Oh yeah, and also because we got all like those weapon tech manuals from giving gifts last time. Uh yeah, that means uh we uh, yeah, we got like charge level 1 for Senpumaru. So we can still get the level 2 uppercut charge if we wanted to use it. But again, we're not. I still prefer my blue demon katana thing. Like that's pretty cool. We got what we needed. Now then. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh, wait, 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 I don't want... Yeah, I don't, I don't want the purple right now. I got four orbs. I'd rather save this for when I get to, like, the next boss fight, which is relatively soon. More enhancements. And then we'll save. And hopefully we'll, uh, unless this game does something stupid to, like, RNG me out of a side quest. We're gonna, we're gonna be passing the baton to another character. Let's see for sure. Ha! Come on. I... Ugh. Good. I just want to keep getting the East End Chains that I can for, uh, you know, just for more money. Okay, getting back into it. All right, let's proceed. Okay, yeah, we are on track. Trust me, you might not have noticed, like, what it is I saw that got me to, uh, to, like, notice that, yes, I am gonna get the side quest. But, uh, it'll be important later. Oh, come on, like... Like, they're always, like, covering, like, the ass, uh, ass of, like, another enemy. Like, they do that attack that I am, like, trying to fish, but then another one will do another attack to, like, throw off my timing. It is, like, the worst feeling ever, and I can tell that the developers knew this when they were making, like, the enemy AI. I could still chain them pretty decently. All right. Yeah. If you couldn't tell already, we're an illusory forest. If we and if we weren't getting the side quest, we would like we would actually see the the key that we need to, in order to like dispel the illusion. Nice, nice. Oh god, that's right. You can't even override a charge with a with a kick. Yeah, see, like I tried to do like back and attack and just uh, did nothing. Oh well, it is what it is. 
So yeah, we do this three times. Great. This maze. <laughs> that great that he just gave us like, I'm oh, lost. come on. <laughs> it's so deadpan. Like, like that is some JC Denton core voice acting, like in his tone when he realizes, oh, great. I'm lost in a maze. Oh, but here he is. Hmm. Favorite side character. Jube is heading east. Hmm. All right, let's go. I we, wonder. We may not have. That female demon must have set a trap. Yep. Stay alert, Jube. <laughs> yeah, your voice acting's not that much better, pal. But now we can uh, open these specific uh, chests when playing as him. And it gives us a bracelet that does the thing that for us that Kaide did not get to do last time. Which is, we get to ex actually absorb enemy souls. Yep. It's pretty great. It is unfortunate that, like, these, like, these leg protectors, we could have gotten them from, like, a gift exchange, but I didn't realize it at the time when I was going through on stream, so... We're not gonna have the optimal amount of armor we could want out of this, but... But, hey, at least we get, like, the ability to do level 3 charges out the gate. We can also double tap and do cart flip, uh, cart wheels and like backflips. It's pretty great. Makes you feel kind of ninja-like, I'd say. Does a good job. Okay. His kick's pretty cool. As well as a flash kick. <laughs> Oh, how that whiff? Come on. This is kind of like, the, uh, admittedly, the one downside for playing as Kotaro based on what I got, like, myself reacquainted with. Uh, it is nigh impossible to chain Essence together. Like, the timing... Like, the timing for starting an Isen is the same, regardless. But for Kotaro, doing the chain itself, like, after the first one, has insane exact timing that I am just not good at. Oh well. But now we gotta do a, a major part of his side quest where we gotta do his own mini version of the Dark Realm arenas from the first game. And we get some, like, important quest progression items out of this. Plus a, plus a extra weapon for him. Crap, come on. Yeah, it also just does not have, like, the range. Oh, see? Like, I got that barely. There we go. Yeah, unsurprisingly, you could see that, like, his, uh, his moves that we're able to do are the stuff we saw him do every time that he was, uh... Assisting us in battle. At the end of the day, ninja or samurai, it is still practical to get the criticals on the enemies where you know it's manageable. Got it. Excellent. Oh yeah, that's right. I do have Shuriken as well, which, uh, fortunately, I have a button, uh, dedicated to it, where, where, like, I just press L2 to do that. Oh, 
Hold on. Oh, wait, okay. Okay, the game got real confused there, I think, as far as, like, what target it wanted me to hit. And, and again, like, that, that was just a straight miss. Like, I, I, I don't get it sometimes. Oh, well. There's also one extra trick that Kotaro has up his sleeve. Pressing triangle, like, uses, like, his own magic. Oh, come on. Alright, just... Shit, shit, shit. Oh god, I'm actually close to dying now. And again, why does that keep missing? Come on, you... Actually, hold on, I got... Alright, fine, I'll just use one medicine. Okay, whatever. They're really liking to dodge all of my shit right now. It's kind of annoying. Like, Jesus, calm down, dude. Oh, finally. Okay, what's in here? Oh, good. I got a medicine back after just using it. That's that's nice. Thanks, game. But we got, like, just two more levels. Okay, here's some big enemies. Just waste no time. Why does that consist always have to miss? Okay. Ah. Again, just like that timing for being able to chain it is basically like something you just get on accident. It's kind of annoying. Come on, what you got? Okay. Alright, I think I'm rem uh, realizing now what exactly the trick is. It's like, which makes it even more annoying when trying to do that down attack, especially if you have multiple enemies still active. It's like, it's, it's a leaping attack. So, like, if you're doing it while already standing over them, like, it's basically designed to miss. Yeah, like, I needed to back up there just to be sure that it would not completely whiff or something, you know? Blue Wedge, that's important. And the Roga Kunai. Good, now we can start murdering things more efficiently. Even though the Gabishi are pretty good. But again, they're the stopgap for, like, the best weapon that Kotaro has. Yeah, look at that. I just melted them. And a redstone pole. Come on. Where's the last one? 
Got him. Yeah. And we're done with the with the Red Phantom realm. Nice. Just keep getting all the souls I can because eventually like the stuff we earn is eventually gonna like make its way back to uh to Jubei. <coughs> you Wow, look at that. Just two running slash hits and that and that was the end of him. That's pretty good. Oh, I think it might just be more like two hits in general. Wow. Oh wow, I I am discovering the tag. Just like running and attacking twice is enough to like Oh. Okay, that that didn't quite combo, but whatever. I'll I'll take it. Yeah, it's like the way like some of it looked made me almost think I might literally just OTG these bastards. It, like that one there, it looked like an OTG. Oh god. Okay. Let's save. Oh, Still kind of peeved, though, that, like, my hopes of, like, replaying the game to get everything set up so that I could do every character side quest. The fact that just that did not work bums me out. Because that was, that was, like, a straight three and a half hours wasted, like, in order to figure out whether that's actually going to work, you know? Yeah, just like one-shotting these like weird like fish demons. That's pretty good. Oh, but here we go. Best armor. Stealth costume. Note it does not uh, result in better stealth. It's just more defense, but whatever. That's fine. Gotta continue forward, hopefully get Jubei out of that forest in time. Oh my god, damn it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I don't want him to get away too soon. Okay, come on. There we go. I think I'm getting a bit better at, like, getting the timing for, like, that spinning slash. That I don't need to, like, rely as much on the roar and then lunge. Like that. Even though that's still the best opportunity to get an E set. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's the thing I've been noticing, actually. Like, the move that is easiest to Isen against them, it's like... They seem more likely to do that, I think, when when they are not in groups. Like, that would make a whole lot of sense if that's the case.
Alright. Let's just keep killing all these small fry while we can. Okay. And there's our next Phantom Realm. But first we gotta do this. Yeah, that's fairly straightforward. Senpumaru Secret. You know, that's our that's our dedicated back forward input for uh, for the new weapon Jubei got. Let's start the next Phantom Realm. All right, let's go. Huh. Huh. Okay. Are you going to roar or uh, something else? Oh, double kill. Yeah, even though the other one got away, it's fine. I can deal with these rolly bastards. Oh, that... They both whiffed. Every time. Like, you saw that lunge. Again. Like, what? Ugh. Nice. Like, that, that shuriken, like, spread attack does is so good, because it's like, the need for, like, precision aiming is not really necessary in that instance. It's pretty good. Yeah, like, like, the level 2 charge just seems to be pretty good at, like, guaranteeing that you get past their, uh, like, their shell automatically. Of course, a kick is still pretty good. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess it's fairly manageable to get an E-Sen on those things when, like, they were in that specific animation. You know, and, like, not really moving. More like they're prepping. Unless I kind of misinterpret, like, another important detail about it. <laughs> oh! Okay. That's interesting. Jeez, level 3 charge attacks are just so powerful. Like, you would think magic attacks are the be-all, end-all, but sometimes, like, this is just more... This is not only more economic, but also way more efficient and powerful. In some instances. Oh my, oh, oh, that, that is a mean way for that thing to spawn. Again, I, <laughs> There, okay, we can continue down. Okay, we got a big bull demon. Again, I hate that inconsistency. Okay, we'll try this again. Are you kidding? Oh, you... Okay, try this again. Come on. 
Oh yeah, and of course I would not be in a good position following that. Very unsafe. Oh, nice. Not not a true chain, but I I I went from one to the other pretty quickly. That was very smooth. Very nice. It's final floor. Yes, it is. Oh, we got a real big one. There we go. Got him! Wow! There's still probably more that's gonna spawn. No! Okay, that was it. Good. Oh, boy. So now we got all our items we needed to as, uh, as Kotaro. We got the red and blue poles, which goes into a key area. We got his best, uh, like, chest piece armor and his best weapon. Which means, like, you know, even though he's not gonna be really playable again after this point him showing up for future battles is still going to be a good thing Jeez, there's so many of them. Nice, very nice. Okay, time to time to put the poles in their place. And then we can get back to... Get back to being the main character. Alright. Off we go. Wow! Like, even though it wasn't an E-Send, that was still, like, a one-shot. I can't believe it. <sighs> Again, I, I hate how that misses. Like, the usefulness of his E-Send moves is definitely, like, the weak link for him. Well... Oh, bullshit! I should have gotten away from that. Oh, god damn it! No, I didn't want to leave. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Again! Every single time! You? All right, good. Let's continue. I really am just focused on maximizing on the amount of souls I can absorb as as Kotaro, since this is the only time we play him. What are you doing? Hey, you. Come out. <laughs> Look at me, Jubei. Ow, ow. What? I am I pretty? What the fuck? 
Oh, it's you. Don't startle me. <laughs> you seem to be caught in one of the demon's traps. This kind of maze is nothing for a ninja like me. Good to know. Follow me. This way. <laughs> All right. I forgot that that was the gag, admittedly. That it, that it is just him, like, doing, uh, like... Now you are safe. Jujudorma's voice, like, exactly perfect. Easy. Excellent, Kotaro. Thanks. Oh, come on. You shouldn't thank me for this. Uh-huh. I'm... I'm always around to help. That's why I'm here. You can count on me. Well... See you. Yep. It contains red souls. About ten or so levels. God, that was such a smart addition they made. Like, it made sense at the time that they wouldn't give the soul-absorbing ability to Kaide. Because that's Samonosuke's thing. He has the gauntlet. But it, but it led to a situation when I look back at... How I played through it that it was like there was next to no point in me fighting any enemy when I had to switch over to her like that was the worst part they clearly realized that was an issue Damn you. I mean, I mean, I had a friend to help. You are so cute when you're angry. <laughs> I shall have fun with you behind my lord's back. <laughs> uh. Wait, Juju Dharma. He's mine. Oh god, it's this asshole again. Can't get enough of me, huh? I told you I do that. I'm immortal. <laughs> now, let's talk and more chop. Wait a second, Gingham. <sighs> this cute little man is mine to play with. No, I claim his life. You two are such jokes and not anywhere near as entertaining as Goken Dantes. In fact, I am asking right now as I am playing this game, when, whenever Goken Dantes is not on screen, where is Goken Dantes? Where is the greatest swordsman of all demons? I demand his presence. Anything is better than this idiot. <laughs> All right, let's actually get... Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Just let me... All right, I'll take it. Okay, I just need... Oh, God! I was trying to get... No, let's actually try and get a magic attack to... If I... If I can get him to slow down just once... Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> this is kind of an awkward placement. I'm not gonna lie. Ow, you son of a bitch. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, well. We at least get a bit of help. I, I do not care about trying to get any e sends on this dude. Oh, you bastard! Ah, oh, crap. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, he's taking a beating. Kotaro, I mean. He's just, like, running into it nonstop. Just... That said, though, jeez, can this guy just not stay... Ah. Oh, fu Okay, I gotta... I gotta heal. I can't... I can't hold off any longer. <laughs> All right, fine. What's another one? <laughs> that works. Curse you. I'm sure I'll be back again. I genuinely forget if he does come back a third time in this entire game. Oh, wow. I think it actually... Because of when I killed him, it cancelled out the Onimusha mode, and I got refunded three orbs. That's great. I'll take that. Thanks, game. Alright, we got a whole lot of, uh, of orbs. Let's upgrade some things. Let's do this. Yagyu armor, max. Foot armor. Max. And then we'll get some more souls later to focus on upgrading our other weapons. Get Senpumaru to level 2 and something like that. My dear pigeon with the secret message is missing. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. There's this little, little mini event. Yeah, like, like, on top of the playable side quests, it's at this point that you, uh, like, depending on who you're allied with, you actually start getting a lot more unique, like, character interaction events as part of the scenario. Anyway, we got all the Nobunaga statues. Let's, uh, let's go look for that pigeon. Kotaro seems a bit concerned. I think it'd be good to... Wait, what's going on over here? No! How dare you! Not the pigeon! All that's left was the tube with the message. Might as well give it back to him. Such a cruel fate. And the only way to give it back to him is as a gift. Of course. Tube for pigeon leg. You found it? That's good. So, where's the pigeon? <laughs> this is the Sorry, most uh, we did not have the, the budget to make I this a proper cutscene. Shit Actually, ever. I was more worried Just about the pigeon idle animation the and like auto-generated lip sync to match he the is flying about now. For he is free. Yeah. Thank you, Jubei. Like please, Yeah, you can tell please, it's please. automated. Like the lip syncs are actually accurate to what they're saying for once. Like God, could you have imagined if they even bothered to actually do that for the main cutscenes instead of what actually ended up happening? Like, come on. Ah, whatever. We pretty much got what we need to. So... Let's save and head forward on the main path towards a puzzle. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 
Alright, inside we go. Now, I gotta remember this very carefully because this is one of those puzzles where the solution is randomized, so you have to pay attention. Yes. Let's see. Arms crossed, arms down, arms side. Okay. I know what to do. Wow, literally in the in the order that it's listed in the in the item menu. I am very lucky. Yeah, we have to put them in the right order or else the spike walls to the left and right of us are just going to close and crush us. Not instantly. We, I do believe we actually get some time to, like, like get out of the way and then reset the whole puzzle. But, obviously, the ideal is to get this correct the first time anyway. Like so. Into the demon's lair we go. Yep. Oh, nice. Thanks for coming to... I came here to help you. Assist as always, Kotaro. Oh, wow. This, for whatever reason... Like, it was still the same when I went through on, like, the, uh... Like, on my practice of this section. But it's, like... Like, oh my god, they... Okay, can you please... Yes! Oh, I am so glad I got that. Took care of that bold demon in the process. Like, that, like that's the part that's so good about Isen chaining when you really nail it. Ooh, double downward thrust. That's good. Hmm. Can you give me something in return? Uh, I don't think I really have any other gifts that would be of importance to you right now. I gave all the good stuff to you at Ema Show. Like, no joke. Anyway... Oh, come on. Oh, I just want to get the... Are you kidding? Yes! that That's what I wanted. I at least wanted to get a critical on that. Although it's a shame that it just doesn't kill it outright. Come on. Will you please stop idling and actually try and hit me? Okay, not actually hit me, try to. Seriously, you are being uncooperative. I greatly dislike this. Will you, for fuck's sake? Ugh. Come on. I forget if it might be something where I still need to use, like, another weapon. Yeah, might as well use this. Or maybe he was just that close to, to dead anyway. I'm not sure. Anyway, I think I'm about close to, like, the amount I would need to 
maybe upgrade Senpumaru? I forget if it was like seven or eight. Whoa. Well, that was a weird audio clipping. Oh no, I, I did get a max. Uh, I did get like, yeah, it is seven levels. That's good. They're both a level two. So now I have three weapons, both of which have like their two tech manuals, so they all have level three charges. Still only have do, uh, tech one for Dokotsui, which will come eventually. Got the three secrets as well. But we're still sticking with good old Brighto. God, we've been in the fog of valley. Uh, Valley of Fog, technically. And we're near the end of it after almost an hour. <laughs> we're gonna get our third orb. Let's go. How lovely I am. You really aren't. Oh, my Lord Nobunaga. Huh? I got bored since you kept me waiting. Now I'm going to play with you for a very long time. Are you ready for me? <laughs> Give it up. No man would ever want to play with a nasty thing like you. Ugh, how dare you! I'll show you what nasty means. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. That's not cool. First things first, just waste all this. Maybe you could give me, like, a purple orb as well for all my troubles. Like, do you think that would be doable? No? Oh, well. Oh, fuck. I forgot that it doesn't track the same way. God damn it. All right, Senpumaru, do your thing. Oh, there it is. Will you just let me absorb all of these things in peace? Oh, you bitch! Yes, please distract her! God... Oh, and I lost the magic orb from that, too! She has no chill whatsoever. Are you fucking... I just want to get a level two. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, 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 look at that. I, oh my God. Like how many was that? Like six, seven, holy shit. Oh, this game rules. That's probably clipping the hell out of the mo of the mic audio, but I don't care, man. That was tight. <laughs> God, I really do need to just. I gotta I gotta roll the tape back once I'm done with stream tonight. I need to count that. That might have to do with something I remember reading about with like. Like, if you initiate an Isen chain off of, like, a level 3. Like, if the timing is just right. That, or it might have been a case where it was just... The timing for chaining is that loose with Jujudorma. I'm not sure. But honestly, I'll, I'll take it, dude. See you next time. I can't believe how that happened. Like, what? Just, like, for a brief moment, without realizing it, I had become a god. <laughs> yes, operate the switch. Okay. 
But hey, we got three of the five orbs already. We're more than halfway done with this game, technically. And I got an herb back for my troubles. What? Oh, shit. Oh, God, I got it. Oh, you... Why? Oh, oh, this is mean. Just putting that soul cash right there. They knew. They absolutely knew. <laughs> well, looks like I'm gonna have to jump into this FMV. Uh, what a delightful game. The Oni Sacred Place. Not reading that because I got I got stuff to do. That that scroll is really it just exists more to tell you that like that's what that's the place you're gonna be heading to next. Just to be safe. Get some enhancements in. Yeah, we'll do that. I might put some priority on, like, getting Senpumaru upgraded first before the Hyojin Yari. God, that 7-chain Isen combo is still, like... Blowing my mind. I never thought I would ever pull anything like that off in all the times I played this game. <laughs> What's this? Alright, time for another magical vehicle to take us to our next destination. <laughs> like like the like the, the iron horse and then this. It's just oh. Again, that's the thing I I absolutely love. And why, like, I love the craziness of this game, again, compared to all the Onimushas after this. Because, like, it's this stuff combined with the music. It's giving it, like, this grandiose epic tale, like, vibe to it. Like, yeah, it's historical fiction, but there's an air of romanticism to it all. You cannot deny just, like, it is trying to pull at some emotional strings like something fierce. Mm. Oh! Oh, yes! I forgot! This is how he makes his entrance! <laughs> Gokadontis on his demon jet ski! Oh, I've missed you! Oh, yes! Your eyes reveal that you are thrilled to encounter a man who is stronger than you. You're right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get started. My name is... Gorgon Dantes! The greatest the swordsman of all demons. demons. So you say... <laughs> Come on. I'm not even going to try. Go for that. Oh. Or maybe I will. I'll try. Okay, it was, it was a small enough orb cash. Just, god damn it. Okay, no. Ah. Yeah, still can't lay a hit on him. But otherwise, man, like this environment, like the pre-rendered background for this is so good. Oh! Oh, I actually got some out of him. Oh, come on. Just let me get a level three. Oh, like, yeah, just the strategic moments in which you actually are able to get a hit in. That it makes you feel like maybe you can. Maybe you can beat him. Come on. 
He straight up stuffed it. That attack. Oh god, this is bad. I gotta... Oh shit. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Damn. You are good. Oh, are you giving up? We were just getting started. <laughs> Chube! Keep back. <laughs> My lady. How shameful to be saved by her twice. Not really. Well, I guess you can't help it. So, let's postpone this game for now. So courteous. But, maybe we can begin a new game. Lord Nobunaga is going to attack Odani Castle. Huh? What? It is only a matter of time before Odani Castle falls. What will you do? <laughs> <laughs> and there he goes. God, you you really are the best character of this entire game, Gogan Dantes. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Don't worry. Mm. Uh, oh, wow. Mm. It's done. Keep hmm. still while I go and explore this island. Oh, look at I that. We got another playable Danny character coming up. You don't have to do this alone. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Sure. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, this is kind of what I was talking about. Again, with like the character side quests. It's like, despite like there being four characters that you can give gifts with and form bonds with, it's like, the game by default expects you to be like, to really like, get invested in OU. Even if you don't give her any Are gifts, you? you're gonna have her side quest regardless regardless bah. how can this be hmm. I'd like to express my thanks to you for saving my son mm-hmm I have a favor find the sacred flute and give it to Jube. Sacred flute? It is a secret instrument handed down in our Oni clan. With the instrument, he could compete with that demon swordsman. Hmm. Find the sacred flute. Then, I will find it for Jube. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Or you. All right. Now we got our mission. And she has her own bracelet as well for this, which is good. And again, this would be a situation where, like, if I was more optimal with my gift-giving, like, during the first three hours, that, like, ideally I would have had, like, an extra piece of armor. Okay, so we're not going in that way. There's a door here. Okay, that's... Okay, it's clear that they want me to go a specific direction. That's fine. And of course, like all sub characters, she automatically has level three charge. That basically just one shots these uh, 
these big guys. Very nice. A key plate. I don't think there's anything that goes in here. It's definitely... We're definitely getting to that point where it is, like, deeper and deeper into the game. Parts of it are starting to escape from my memory. But we'll figure it out. It's clearly one of those other two doors. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Some kind of trick. I mean, it could be this. Or maybe it's like the other door itself. No? Okay, okay. I gotta I gotta look up again just to see what is it that it wants. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Oh, right, yeah. I, I didn't even look to investigate this earlier. Of course, this is, like, the last place it would need to go. <sighs> Let's check in here first. There might be something. Lift instructions. Hmm. Ceiling fan didn't work because there was no wind. Okay. Ready. Very nice. And some magic liquid. We'll come back here as Jubei for sure. Right now, we gotta head through that other door. Okay. I just gotta keep going through like these series of hallways and we'll eventually get to the sacred flute. Oh, very nice. Oh, these, oh yeah, these wall murals are, are pretty cool. Oh yeah, and of course she would have her own like projectiles as well. I gotta remember to keep using them since like Going through all of the first game and, like, parts of this is like, I'm just not used to that as being a thing. Ooh, triple kill. Very nice. The Oni super weapon. Oni Genbu. Yeah, that'll come up again eventually. Yeah, still inconsistent with like the Isen timing on on these guys, but sometimes I, I get it fair uh, fairly well. More medicine. All right. Oh, 
Okay. That went as about, as about as well as I could hope for it to, considering the big guys I'm just even more inconsistent on the East End timings. Oh! Oh, shoot. What the hell? Oh, come on. Okay. That's better. Like uh, like I got I got concerned once I got reintroduced to this room and thought, "Oh god, is it going to somehow bullshit a way to like kill me if like if I'm on top of the glass when it breaks or something?" Please just... Ah! God! Damn it! Okay, I at least got that. That's good. Yeah, I just need more health. That's all I need right now. You fucking... Wow, just that—that that was just the last slice I needed to do. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, that should be good. The Adarga. Trying to. Oh yeah, that's clearly. Cool. We got we got a better shield now. That's nice. All right. Yeah, might as well. So... The Fog Bridge. Here we go. Time to get our prize. Okay, good. Again, always trying to trip you up by, like, covering each other's bases, like, with different attacks at, like, varying times. Oh, no, wait, that was... Shoot. Hold on, can I kill him again? Do they come back? Okay, they do. Okay, let, let's keep moving forward again. All right. And we got her best sword. Uh, mistranslated as the Gradius. <laughs> sure, whatever, game. Whatever you say.
All right. Let's get back to it. And obtain the sacred flute. Oh, oh, that's cool with the with the icicles. Hold on. I want to try this instead. Charge up. Two. Three. Oops. Okay, get over here. Yes! Haha! -ha! Oh, that's a lot of orbs. This is the sacred flute. Yeah, sure looks like one. Okay, I guess we just gotta run our way back. Hopefully it skips with, like, a cutscene. I think it... Or maybe not. Ah, eh, whatever. Wow, even with any character, if you're just doing running slashes and time them just right, you basically otg them in a single combo. But whatever, I... Truth be told, I kind of don't feel like fighting any more of these guys, like, on the road back. Or at least not all of them. I can't believe that one behind literally juked back so he wouldn't get caught in the attack itself. Like, these... Even on normal, I feel like some of these enemies are getting a bit too devious in how they respond to you. I'm not sure how much I'm into that. Alright. I just want to run back already and get back to playing as, uh, as Jubei. <laughs> oh! Oh, that- oh, that combined very nicely, going from, like, a running slash into a down attack. That's pretty good. And again, not bad, not bad. That that really is just the most efficient way to deal with those guys, because trying to get e sends out of them is just way too annoying. Yeah, I might as well just try. Ugh. That... You know, I'm not even gonna entertain that. Like, A, there was no setup for it, these nuts, and B, that's pretty weak even by, those st by the standards of that joke. That's a uh, the welcome queen. <laughs> hope you hope you're having a good day. I am. Like this game's pretty magical. Okay. Jubei. 
How's your wound? Oh, it's fine. That's good. Yeah, you can barely even see it. Jube. I brought this at your mother's request. My mother? <laughs> even in the afterlife. She thinks of you. Well, that's good to know. You can defeat the demons. And even Nobunaga with it. Use it to avenge your mother. And the rest of your village, of course. Since that was your... Modus operandi to begin with. Oh well, it's good. And we get all the all the souls that OU collected. And put them towards Hopefully we can get it get the Sempumaru upgraded to max with this. That'd be nice. Cool. Still a shame, though, that, like, we're, we're not going to get Magoichi or Ekei's, uh... Oh, oh my god, I did not realize that there was, like, a bridge overhead where there's, like, these archers. Oh, you... Oh, that's mean. Oh, you... Mm. Oh, this is not cool. Not cool at all, game. I'll try my best like this, just to get rid of the archers. Oh, for God's sake, just stop! Like, they... <laughs> like, the startup time! Just so I can, like, get the bow readied and fire it is way too long. You saw how each one of those archers were just pelting me by the time I was ready. Ugh. That, that was just dreadful. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Oh, well. Final weapon time. We get a big-ass hammer. <laughs> Seriously, they dodged it! Oh, come on! Okay. Yeah, you can get uh, fa uh, flashy, like, instant hit, you know, instant kill counterattacks with a giant hammer. And swing it about as fast as you could with just, like, a samurai sword. It's pretty funny. But we're still sticking with this. I have my preferences. I want to say Onimusha 3, in general, I think does a better job of, like... Making you want to engage with all the weapons that you get. Probably because even by default in that game. Like the first magic weapon you get as Samanosuke. Is like a pair of dual swords. And like that's inherently different from just like a demon single blade thing you know. Oh well it's whatever. God, just five hours of recorded playtime on this already. Let's head inside. Ah, oh, come on. No, I'm not even gonna bother. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Now let's use this.
Let's see. What do we got? Okay, we're just directly underneath now, I suppose. Unless, hold on. No, no, okay. Actually, okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, I, th I think I will just, like, keep going in this particular direction. This should be fine. Ah, couldn't get a third chain. It's always tricky trying to get, like, a... Like, a three Esen chain, like, after the fact. Like, I've, I've, I fully admit, though, that, like, what, that, uh... Like, uh, the, like, during what I'm, like, the, like, the separate save file I was doing with the idea that maybe I would be able to, uh, uh, that, like, I could possibly, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, that I could, like, possibly, uh, possibly, like, get, like, a different save file that was, like, more optimal than what I had done on stream. And I should you not, in, like, in the grinding section of that, uh, of that playthrough, I did get, like, a 4 Esen chain. Like, that would, like, that was incredible. Not nearly as incredible as, like, the 6 or 7 hit Esen that I managed to get somehow on Judod on Judodorama. Or, I'm already forgetting what her name was. There we go. And another trick treasure box. Oh god, this one. Uh uh, hold on. Right, okay. Yeah, the piece is just loop. That makes sense. Oh, nice! Finally it took us this long. Got us a matchlock rifle. So what if we're a samurai? Use guns. Shoot the demons. Alright. Okay, another weird-ass Sudoku. Okay, so it needs to up, add up to, like, 34. 15, 14, that's 29. Yeah, I'll start with this, just to see if that does anything. So, 14, 11, okay, this is 25, 27. Yeah, 25, 27. Yeah. And then that leaves 11, 8, that's 19, 24, 10 down there. Okay, so it all comes down to the final two pieces. So 4 plus 9, 13. Plus 5 is 18. Got it. Yeah, which is 7. Yeah, okay. Nice. First try. I am a mathematical fucking genius. Okay, that... Uh, I thought that would go away. And all that for a unique mushroom. Alright then. Whatever you say. A sacred jewel's missing. Great.
So, I'm actually... Okay, now that I look at that, I think I gotta go back to, like, the... To, like, the first floor, as it were. But not before checking out this corner. <gasps> Hold on, wait a sec. Okay, no, that's something that I can only get if I have, uh... If I if I had a K like at a good enough alliance level, it would otherwise give me access to like the uh, the yellow necklace. But no, I, I don't think we're really going to be getting any other necklaces uh, for this playthrough. I can't see, dude. Come on. Oh, nice! And Isen just straight up took off its arm. That is incredible. I never knew that could happen. Wow. That, that's, that is straight up, that is a cool detail. I'm impressed. But we need to go back up to the first floor. This is kind of necessary. I want to make sure I explore all the other secrets I can before I use, like, the, the golden key. Alright. And it means going back through here. Ow! Fucker. Oh! Very nice. Locked from the other side, of course. Okay, but I think that's, in, in general, that's like, a, again, another side event thing if I was more closely allied with another character. Oh, wait. Cutscene. Fascinating. Jubei. Yo! Yo, how's it going, Kotaro? I discovered the truth about Oyu. She just happens to be... Someone's coming. I'll handle this. You go on ahead. Oh, come on. Oh. Hurry. Don't keep me in suspense any longer. Oh, great. It's you. I know who you are. You're an agent from the Oda clan. Gasp! You can fool Jubei, but you can't fool me. I don't know what you're planning, but you better stop hanging around Jubei. <laughs> I'll let you live if you leave now. No! You've got it all wrong! Shut up! <laughs> oh, great. You have to believe me! Just listen for a moment. Please believe me! Wait! <laughs> well. Alright. Onwards and forwards. Ah, come on. Will you... Again, that audio clipping. That that's odd. There we go. Another good chain.
Weirdo, like, like the weird audio clipping is, like, an issue that is now, like, the new thing that's cropping up for me. Like, it's not... As far as I can tell, like, it's not causing any audio de uh, desyncs on my end. It's not a result of, like... Wait. Where's Kotaro? Wow, okay. Even with pre-rendered backgrounds, just like this many polygonal characters and enemies is, like, enough to cause massive slowdown. I am shocked. But seriously, I do not like the implications of this that she's the one who came to help me after that confrontation with Kotaro. Oh god, there's another one on the other side of that barrier. I cannot believe this. Alright, fine. Actually, let's just use this. Why not? Wow, all it took was just dumping that. That's amazing. Okay, we got the circle key. Oh god, okay. Got him. Sweet. And now we got four. Yeah, look at that. It was actually just a shortcut back up here. How convenient. Okay, but now we got to get back to, like, the main area. And we can definitely... Upgraded another one of our weapons with this amount of souls. Not finding any in here, though. I really don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah, that took a lot more just to upgrade this hammer. I want to actually check over here first. Because I feel like there's got to be something. If I put an orb in it. Right, okay, yeah. That that explains it. Like, hearing that from Jubei, that makes it more clear it's not... Uh... <laughs> oh, nice! Okay, but it's still locked from the other side. Okay, so there's there's no point coming back here to this particular room. I just need to go back down to, like, the underground por uh, portion of this. Ow, oh, come on! I, I really do kind of just hate how aggressive the archers are in this game. It feels like it's somehow even more egregious than it was at any point in Onimusha 1. I have no idea why it's like this. Alright. Yep, 
Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I think we've... Yeah, we pretty much explored literally everything we can in this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And now we got both keys used up. On to the next area. Which, you know, I still got some energy for. Oh, come on. I told you to stay away from him. Now you will suffer. Please, stop it. Whoa. And hey, look at that, Isen in a cutscene. This doesn't change anything. Listen, I'm going to return to Odani Castle. I have three daughters. Uh huh. I decided to choose them. You're lying. You should understand. Kotorofuma. How? How do you know? <laughs> I've heard about you. Your mother was killed because she abandoned you and ran away when you were little. <laughs> yeah, that so checks out. Women. People that run Did away from the ninja clan them? just get put down. They're marked for she death. Must have had a good reason. It's unthinkable that a mother would abandon her own child. Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything. Kotaro! <laughs> really starting to feel like he, like Kotaro, like in these outbursts is starting to channel a bit of Steve Burns' side. And I think that's the only part I don't like about his character. <laughs> Even though I appreciate how he's kind of a punk throughout it. He's just. Fortunately, just voice-wise, he's not anywhere near the obnoxiousness of Steve Burnside. Just, just fuck that kid, man. He was the worst. Okay, I'm... Oh god, these these freaking puzzles. What the hell am I expected to do? I, I guess just press buttons randomly until it works. Why not? Alright, here we go. Castle Gifu, east. Another returning location from the previous game. So you just got to look around quickly to make sure that I'm not going to miss any important items. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> Another trick box. Okay, hold on. There we go. Whew. Yeah, I was not gonna bother trying to like solve that on my own. I immediately just went to the uh to the solution I had on hand. There we go. Wow, three. Oh, th that's that's just so funny to do. 
a green wedge. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's see what I can dump into for enhancements. Yeah, I might as well. Start working towards l max level for Hyojin Yari. Alright. But yeah, I think with just the... How much this game keeps giving, I think I can manage, like, within the next hour to keep making progress before stopping. Like, probably around when it's, like, six hours or so of total playtime. I think that'll... that'll work. Alright. Oh! Oh, but look at that. Tokichiro's diary. Yada yada, stuff that I don't care about, because again, he'll become Hideyoshi Toyotomi in the future and the antagonist of Dawn of Dreams. Right, this. Okay. Yeah, you know, we're actually going to do this, I think. Because... This is another Phantom Realm, and it's got some pretty good, some pretty good, uh, like, equipment. Like, some uh, good items we want to get at the end. Okay. Yo! Five! Look at that! Okay, that that was tight. T uh, today has been pretty good as far as Isen chains go. At least with just those two, you know? Ah, come on. Oh, come on. It's like the camera is screwing me up just enough that I can't see it sometimes. Okay. First floor down out of 10. Okay, it went as about as well as I could, considering like I just am not comfortable trying to go specifically for Isen. Yeah, I could just keep doing level three charge attacks on these guys for days. <laughs> they always drop a lot of orbs anyway, so it's like I don't feel like I'm losing out as much by not going for the Isen. Nicely done. Three floors down. You know, I'm actually going to switch to a different weapon this time just because we're dealing with archers of all things in the back. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, I think those are their hats in the background. That's amazing. Come on.
You know, I think I might actually just switch to this for the time being for variety because I think like the the hitbox of its E-Send is about the same as the Brito's. Again with that audio clipping. It's really bugging me. All right, about as well as it could have. <laughs> oh man, wall splats are the ultimate weakness of like those demon ninjas. <laughs> That is amazing. Yeah, I do not want those orbs right now, please. I much more appreciate it in future games when it's like, you know, maybe we should let you manually activate it once you have all five orbs. Oh my god! Okay, no, no, I think I finally realized what the trick is. It's not... Like, yes, it can be a matter of precision timing. But, like, you doing an Isen out of a level 3 charge is absolutely responsible for that. Like, you, you saw that I... Oh, man. Oh, just getting Isen changed like that makes my dick hard. <laughs> like, look at that. Yeah, it's like, just like the, the timing window for it becomes no longer really strict to the point where it's like, I was literally mashing it during the, the opening phase where like, it, where like, no joke, there was actual like, slowdown. Because as it turns out, even with pre-render backgrounds as a measure to save on memory, uh, you put in enough high detailed, high poly count enemies... It will tank the frame rate. It will destroy the game speed. Ah. That's cool. I still hate when that misses, though. That is not cool in any way. Oh yeah, th this feels great. Okay, more medicine. That's always good. Come on. I want to get a chain off that, like, hits this bowl. Please, just... Oh, come on! Yeah, that's what I was looking for. F now that I finally realized that that was the secret all this time. 
Like, oh. That, that gets me even more excited for Onimusha 3 revisiting that. Now that I know that that's, like, potentially, like, the biggest, like, factor behind it. Because you absolutely can guarantee that, like, a lot of, like, the, the East End tech that was established with this game absolutely is, like, carried over in full force for uh, Onimusha 3. Okay. Any more, you guys? Oh, come on! Oh, yeah, that's right. I still have, like, the up-down attack with, uh... With this one. I should really be making more use of it. And also, now that I'm low on magic for that, let's switch back to Brito. There we go. Wow, like... I, w I stopped paying attention to, like, how many floors in we were at the moment that, like, I just got... Oh, no. I gotta get out in the pinch. Perfect medicine. All right. Kind of low health, lower than I would like, but that's fine. Oh, <sighs> you know, I'm actually going to do something. Let's make some more use out of this uh, white necklace since we've had it for a while. And we're in a spot where we don't have to worry about enemies trying to kill us. So let's, uh, let's get a little bit of that health back. Ugh. But yeah, we got the purple necklace. Which, when we have that equipped, it actually decreases, like, the magic required for each magic attack. Which means you absolutely can guarantee that when we get to a boss fight, I will have that thing equipped and just maximize on it. Like, if I feel like just melting, like, an enemy entirely. Okay, I think that's good. All right, it's an armor. Yeah. Execute magic attacks by using less power, but obviously can't. And none of these can be used in the Phantom Realm, obviously. Let's continue. Oh, yeah, and obviously that's like a chest that would be openable if we were playing as AK, but alas, we are not. I'll give you a hand. Oh, hey, you're back. Y you, you had enough with your little temper tantrum or whatever it was? Ooh, nice. All right. Ready? 
Oh, oh, you assholes. Got the cherry key. Nicely done. See you next time. Gladly. A crescent, right? Okay, so that's not even the the key that we need for this. Okay. But hey, that makes sense. I seem to recall there being uh, like a door in the main castle that we could uh, that we could unlock with uh, with a cherry shaped key. Come on. I just want... Give me another chain, please. Yeah! Okay, it didn't get the, the other one way over there, but I'll... I'll, I'll make do. Oh, come on, no! God, like that, 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 I, I am still reeling from like that, that's how you do like the, the crazy long chains. Assuming that like they're all close enough is the, is the big part. Ugh, timing was off. Come on, come on. Very nice. Okay, back inside. Kotaro! Hello again, Jubei. Hmm. Enemies are coming. There are many. I will use a Fuma bomb. A what? <laughs> Huh. Jubei, stay back. <laughs> oh, that ne never laugh again like that. Stay sharp. Oh, nice. Oh that oh god okay this is kind th this is kind of a pain <laughs> Oh god but now I'm maximizing on this tech now that I know how it works I feel like your bombs are not really doing shit dude like what are you even Okay that time it worked Ah, oh, fuck! I could not see anything! Kotaro, you bitch! Watch the bomb. Ah! Please. Please attack. Watch the bomb. You literally tossed it on, like, the... the overhead. Like, what? what are you doing? Oh wow, I just noticed the effect that makes it like work the way that it does. When you initiate it from a level three charge, like all the other enemies, like time around them dilates. That's okay, that's kinda cool. Jeez. 
I really did not appreciate the way you decided to help me here. Not much of a team player, I guess. Wait, hold on. I completely... Oh, no, maybe I'm, I'm confusing it with, like, another thing. Okay, no. Oh, right. I just remembered what, like, the, the issue was. It was, like... There's, like, a similar thing where it's, like, you get a reward from Kotaro that I want to be on the lookout for. But I think it's, like, a later quest where you have to, like, follow him through, like, a minefield or something like that. Alright, but it's whatever. But I want to... I actually want to head another way first, if I can help it. Oh, come on! Ah. Yeah, because I remember all the way back in our first visit, there actually was a spot where, like, uh, there was a door seal that could be broken by our hammer. And we didn't have our hammer back then. So let's go and get it. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, man. I'm really glad they were able to, like, figure out at this point. Like... Oh, get off! Oh, you... Oh, nice. Level 2 charge definitely came in handy on that moment. Ugh, okay. Now let's get back over here. Break the seal. And what do we got? Okay, a trick box. Okay. Got it. Okay, nice. And what's inside? And we got its secret technique. Spins a win, baby. Nice. Wow, I'm getting a lot. A lot of orbs. I'm stockpiling on a lot of healing items as well. Doing a pretty good job of not needing to use it like at every major opportunity. Like some emergencies. Some. But not too many. Okay. Ah. You know, even if I'm missing the timing, it's still pretty cool. Ah, crap. Nice, nice. Okay, now let's work our way back to the door where we can use the cherry key. And also, let's uh, upgrade since we got, you know, full 16 levels. And save afterwards, because why not? Yeah, we really are just going to be able to get everything leveled up to max before the, the end of the game proper. Makes me curious how many souls, like, total we end up absorbing across this entire playthrough. Because this was more efficient overall than, like, even, like, the past two playthroughs I did of this in the past, you know? 
All right, coming up on six hours of recorded time. I love doing that now. I just want to... Like, normal e-sends are no longer doing it for me. I just want to do though that particular uber-powerful chain as much as I reasonably can. Like that. Like, look how good that was. Oh, yeah. Although now... Oh, God. Actually thinking about it. This, again, has to do with, like, a future game in the series that I may or may not play on stream. In fact, no. Actually, I think it is a one that I will play on stream. I think that's a foregone conclusion. I want to give... I want to give Dawn of Dreams, like, a full chance. Especially after getting informed that, uh... Uh, after being informed, uh, by people I- I know... That, uh... Okay, I, I was trying to solve this as well. I'm basically informed as far as, like, what the actual regional differences are between, like, the Japanese international versions. And realizing that, like, when people were telling me that the international versions of... Dawn of Dreams are, is way harder. For some reason, when in my mind I think of artificially inflating difficulty to make it harder, I assume it just makes it so that enemies are like way more damaging against you. But as it turns out, it really didn't make it harder in that way. What it did was that it made like the, the main game like a huge slog. Like it, like it made it so that enemies were just bigger damage sponges and they gave you less experience. Like, that was the idea. And discovering that was the thing that they did to fuck it up, and that apparently the Japanese version just has the English text and voices on the disc anyway, I was like, shoot, I now feel mad that I bought the English version of Dawn of Dreams years ago. Oh my god, just... Now my timing is all wrong on these guys. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, game. Oh, this is terrible. Like, come on. Ugh. Okay, but we also got the Crescent Key now, which means we can go on ahead. Oh, wait, why were you aiming that way? Oh, that was... that was good. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's just keep going. They're gonna keep spawning for, like, way too long, I get the feeling.
Wow, okay, hold on. Alright, that's all clear. Let's use the Crescent Key, get through here. And I think wherever this, like, ends up taking us to, like, the next main area, I think that will then be where I, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the stream for tonight, after that. Wait, hold on. I think I... A gore. Actually, I need to quickly check something, because I I just looked ahead at the map, and this is supposed to lead us to, like, the next major area. I need to explore just a bit more of the east area before I'm ready to move on from this place. Assuming that that door's, like, unlocked. Okay, it is. Okay. Yeah, just these these annoying little bastards. I'm not going to kill them all. Let's uh, let's keep exploring over here for more items. Yeah, why not? Ugh, take that. Even though I had to expend a bit of magic, it's whatever. Yeah, I wasn't gonna wait for him. Oh my god, you assholes are up there. Okay, I gotta quickly switch back now. Someday I'll get more consistent with how to get the Isen on those particular samurai, you know? Maybe. Wow, just absorbing it from all the way over there. That's amazing. Yeah, why not? Oh, nice. Nice double kill right on the stairs. That was good. Let's explore over here while we can. Got it. Four 
Forts and Bras book. More artwork. Golden Evil statue. 6,000 tons. Strange statue shaped like a crouching man. It looks as if it's alive. Almost like there was a Medusa or something. I don't know. Well, clearly we can't get past that. So we'll just... We'll head back to where we actually need to go in order to progress to the next main area. Later. Ugh. Yeah, and then once this is done, I can finally stretch. Get, uh, get a snack to eat or something. But first... Will this be enough? Look at that. Hmm. So it took approximately, across all of these, like, about 150k souls to upgrade all weapons and all armor. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's... Let's just keep going. Whew. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the, the tiredness now after... Going through this for almost three hours now. But I'd say it was worth it. I mean, we more or less got like another third of the game all done. Like, that's the, that's the best part about it. Like, yeah, b being thorough in this game certainly takes a lot longer than it does in Onimusha 1. They make sure you're getting your money's worth on this being, like, a grand adventure. And now we arrive in the Demon Cave. Which we will explore next time. What day will that be? I'm not entirely sure. Definitely not going to be tomorrow, though. I feel like I... You know, oh, nice. Six hours on the dot. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, I just think that, like, after this, I... Uh, like, uh... I just need all of Wednesday to myself, is the idea. So it might be Thursday or Friday or something. I don't know. The hope is that the next time I stream this game, it will be, like, from this moment all the way to the very end of the game. And then I can start the weekend proper with Onimusha 3 and just... Reveling in that amazing opening CG cutscene, which is still like one of, if not the best one of the entire era. But that's it. Thanks to everyone that like, that uh, popped in while I was going through this. You know, like, it, like this game's, uh, it is a delight. It's even more so now that I finally just discovered that hidden Isen tech of you just charge up your uh, you you hold down the R1 to get uh, to level 3 charge but instead of releasing it as a normal charge attack you time it as an Isen everyone slows down and you just uh, eviscerate them as they are as time dilates which oh th that reminds me again like the main thought I was getting to what well, with the fact that I plan to get to Dawn of Dreams on stream in the future. I feel like that tech I discovered gave a bit more context to a thing that kind of initially put me off with what I remember of, like, the mechanical changes in Dawn of Dreams, where it made it so that, like, when you activate Isen, that basically causes, like, time to freeze around all enemies as you go into a chain. This uh, uh, is, like... This, by comparison, I, I guess feels a bit more natural, considering that you have to do quite a bit of setup in order to pull it off. 
Because otherwise, the alternative is that you have, if you want to get a chain that high, you pretty much are required to be as frame perfect as you can of pressing the buttons in order to link ESENs across multiple enemies. This makes it a lot easier, but it also has the potential to backfire if you get hit during the charge up. So that that's pretty cool. This game's cool. I am so excited again, like to emphasize, like going back to Onimusha 3 to check this out because I am positive that that particular tech gets carried over along with all the other different Isen types. Like it's it's gonna be amazing. Uh, it's it's been so much fun going back through these games again. It's been it's been too long. But that's it. Thanks uh, again. Thanks everyone that tuned in. Look forward to the uh, to the next stream that will hopefully be the finale for Onimusha 2. Take care. Later.